Hello, this is Ronald Rica from uh, Vapor Modules for Vapor Motor, and today I'm going to go over the new photo module. And I consider the photo module kind of in beta because uh, there's a lot of features I'd like to add to it, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the module. So let's first add a row to our layout. I'm just going to do two columns. And then I'm going to go to modules, uh, base module, and just add in a text editor. And then paste in some warm ipsum. Uh, let me do that. Okay, that's good enough. And then adjust the typography. Let's do 20 pixels. Give it a nice line height. And then that should be it. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Vapor and scroll down to Photo. Okay, so then we're going to select a photo, and let's do a four cell pitch. Okay, and so by default it has a caption enabled. Uh, you can disable the caption if you like. And let's go ahead and enable it, and then I want to share a uh, title. And you'll see a title tab pop up, and I'm going to just say um, we are having a cell. And then I could select padding, I could change the background color, stuff like that. And let's enable a photo link. So then you'll see a photo link up here. You can just do a regular link and pop it in a new window, or you can choose a light box and then do a size. Let me show you that real quick. So you can pop it up in a light box and then the caption is below. This is a four cell caption. All right, so let me teach you how to override the caption. You can change the caption type to alt text. Uh, so the alt text is for cell. You could just do a custom caption, for example. It'll help if I could type. All right, and then you have the caption display, which is below the image, or you want to maybe do an overlay. So you can overlay the image, and you can select an overlay type. So by default, it's horizontal, and then it's top position. So I can just change that to the middle position. And then I want to fade in. And then I want it to happen in one second. Just the padding, so and then let's add a uh, kind of like a transparent background color to it. All right, and then let's make it orange so it kind of stands out. Let's just adjust the, the opacity here to like. 0.71. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, you can change that to bottom or even do it on hover, which I'll show you real quick. So, there we go. All right. So, let me show you a couple of other things that we can do with the caption. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, have it below the image. And we can select a padding. So I'm going to just do uh, 20, 20, and 20. And then I can select a background color. Join us today, and then maybe change the text color to white. So then you have a, let's choose a darker color for this. There we go. All right, sounds good. All right, so I want to go ahead and hide the title. And then we'll do a uh, background color for the image. Let's just make it green for the heck of it. And then I'm going to give it a padding of 30. 
pixels. So now you kind of have a border around your image. And then you can even do a border style, and I'm going to make it black. Let's make sure I did it right. OK. And then I want to do a border of 10. And then let's adjust the padding a little bit to make, make it smaller so it looks like a border. Oops, I just got out of it. Let's do 15, 15. All right, so now it looks like we kind of have a border here. And then you can add a uh, another border around the image. So let's make this red, solid, and then give it a 5 pixel width. So now you have basically an inner outer border um, if you want to hide the caption to make that a little more appealing or just ha have it uh, overlay the image, you can do that. So then this is what the image looks like. And we can do, um, could change the image size to a smaller image, like 1024 by 1024, or even a sum now. So it looks like that. And now let's play with effects. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this image. And I'll show you uh, some image effects that you can do. I'm going to use my headshot as an example. So I got this headshot. Okay, Ron Arika, and then I'm going to go to effects and choose a filter, like I can do uh, 1977. By the way, these filters are courtesy of CSS Gram, and unfortunately, they don't work in the Internet Explorer at all. So um, kind of use them at your own risk. Um, and also, uh, the uh, image container uses Flexbox, so it doesn't support anything lower than IE9. So you can get away with. Uh, Internet Explorer if you do not use one of these filters. Uh, just show you a couple more. All right, now let's give it a, a black border. Okay, got a border going, and then let's change the caption to an overlay image. Then I can select the uh, full overlay, and then fade in. And then let's change it to uh, an overlay on hover. Going to adjust the transparency on the background color a little bit. And adjust the typography. Sorry, I can't say that word very well. To bold, and then give it a pixel size of 22 pixels. So let's save that. And then you have a nice overlay image with a caption on it. And then, of course, I can always do a, uh, a light box for the link. So right now I don't have a uh, photo link. So then when you click that, you can go to a photo link, select the light box, size. And then now it'll pop up in a light box. So uh, let's do uh, one other thing. You could also change to a uh, background image um, if you need something to fill up the entire space. OK, 
Okay, I had to change it to full width to get the background image to show up, and then you can also make it. Sorry about that. Uh, you can also adjust the uh, the height of the photo, so it kind of has like a little cropping motion or something like that. And then, of course, you can make it uh, circular, which I consider in beta. And there you go. And then that's about it for the photo module. There's a lot of customization, especially in the effects. Um, you can adjust the caption uh, to have an overlay image and all that cool jazz, or you can just have it below the image. Just like that, or you can overlay it. So it works kind of like my other module, uh, advanced photo overlay, photo overlay, sorry. Um, so that's kind of it. And you can also see a, a demo below in the, uh, the description. So thank you so much for watching.